Welcome. This is Micah Fairchild, Editor-in-Chief of HRLab.com. Today we're discussing our top 10 picks for human resource management systems, and this is the second installment in our two-part series on HRMS solutions. I'm joined today by my colleague Chuck Schaefer, the CEO of Vand of Media, to help us round out the final five offerings. Hey Chuck, thanks for joining us again. Doing all right today? I'm fine, Micah, and it's good to be back discussing what I think are some really interesting points about each of the top 10 HR software solutions. You know, I have to agree. As a person that is uh, kind of entrenched in studying these applications, I think it's incredibly important that prospective buyers have at least a feel for what separates these applications from each other. Uh, since we're short on time, though, let's go ahead and get started. Workday, SAP, Oracle, Ultimate, NewView, these have all been discussed so far. Uh, obviously, we're starting to see how each of these offerings is different, differentiating itself from the competition. Uh, to keep going, though, with our top ten list, uh, what's next up in your mind? Well, to start off with, UK-based Sage HRMS has to be included in my list. This is a company with over 30 years experience, very strong HR and financial expertise to draw from, and a basic but incredibly solid HR management system. They've got their issues to contend with, most notably modernizing some legacy apps, filling some talent management voids, and better utilizing the cloud but their global market present, presence, tight back office integration, especially with accounting systems, and value proposition make it a solid HR payroll software package for the lower end of the SMB market. In fact, according to Forrester Research, Sage is the leading HRMS solution for companies with fewer than 1,000 employees. Yeah, I think you're spot on here with the inclusion of Sage. I'd also add that they're coming along in terms of their user experience as well. Uh, and in fact, if you didn't know better, you'd swear you were looking at a Microsoft product, but how closely uh, Sage actually interface, that Sage interface mimics Outlook. Um, not only that, but they've spent a lot of time developing the Stellar corporate learning system and their learning partner ecosystem. Uh, and that's rapidly becoming a vital talent management function for modern companies. Uh, that's not to say, though, that they're the only ones with solid training tools. Uh, you know, you take N4's Lawson, for example. Here's one of the largest HR software companies in the world. They invested early on in leveraging learning and other talent management aspects like recruiting. Uh, but you add to that the fact that they have a very strong human capital analytics offering, deep domain knowledge, and a host of industry verticals. And you can certainly see why they've garnered over 70,000 customers in, in really over 160 countries. I'm with you on Infor Lawson. And given the fact that Infor itself is the third largest ERP vendor in the world and a new management team is in the process of building a new in for, I think we're going to see much more from this company. From an HR solution perspective, one of the, the standout elements of the in for loss and solution is their mobile functionality. This company clearly gets the importance of the mobile form factor and has developed a solution that is highly effective for those businesses needing location agnostic HR software delivery. Plus, much like what you were saying about Sage, They've gone after the Microsoft user interface, building the bulk of the Infor loss and software using the .NET framework and Windows Presentation Foundation, which is a major draw for those companies looking for a native Windows user experience. You know, I think just about all of the solutions that make it to our top 10 list are going for the compelling user experience, some of course proving to be more successful than others. Take Ceridian for example. They've really pared down their interface for simplicity's sake, which makes their solution incredibly quick to learn and by proxy quick to deploy. On top of that, Ceridian has also managed to leverage a fairly public security breach into a company-wide call to action for security preparedness. While undoubtedly difficult, the efforts that the company has undergone in terms of beefing up their information security infrastructure are pretty much only rival by Oracle at this point. Yeah, Ceridian, they've certainly seen their fair share of issues. Uh, I think they're on track now, uh, but just like Ultimate, they've had a tough uphill climb. They're moving from solely on-premise solution to multi-tenant SaaS. Uh, now with the advent of their Dayforce offering, they're starting to apply that same rigor that they used to develop a best-of-breed payroll solution towards workforce management. Uh, and Dayforce in particular is an extremely powerful tool that has both breadth and depth in terms of what it can do. Uh, and that would actually be an excellent choice for any organization that's heavy on warehouse, 
retail, or healthcare staff. What Ceridian is obviously going after is the market that Kronos has so successfully cornered for so many years. I mean, Kronos, they've always been seen as the stellar leader in terms of workforce management applications, but now the company has put some serious financial resources into the development and marketing of a comprehensive HR software suite, Workforce Central. Uh, this package is solid all the way around, uh, but is a testament to the workforce management routes. Some of the best features revolve around manager and employee self-service especially in terms of what they're bringing to the table with mobile. Yeah, Kronos is one of those companies that's like a blue chip stock. You're almost always going to do well with it, even if the returns aren't as high as with some flashier vendors. What really pr impresses me about Kronos, though, is their analytics capabilities and global reach. Kronos has one of the single largest international footprints in the industry, and I think once they expand their HR and payroll offerings, we're going to be hearing a lot more about and from this company. Still, pound for pound, when it comes to international HR and payroll, there aren't many competitors that can match what Metaphor is doing. This is a company that has wholly reimagined how workforce data should be routed through the organization and brought some serious innovation to the market with their people-centric people architecture. Plus, in a landscape of outdated and outmoded on-premise technologies, Metaphor's PeopleNet SaaS solution is practically an archetype for what businesses are looking for in terms of cloud deployment, like accelerated implementations, reduced costs, and continuous innovation delivered through frequent updates. Yeah, I'm with you. Metaphor is, you know, they're kind of like NewView uh, in the sense that they're the largest vendor that you've never heard of. Uh, when you look across where they focus, though, it's really just a matter of them not focusing on marketing efforts in the U.S. You talked about their architecture, which is obviously stellar, but they've also got an incredibly intuitive and powerful data visual visualization tool called Active Dashboard, and that allows for some truly global business insights. Um, and you know what? I think that looks like our final vendor for our top ten list. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, Chuck? You know, as we mentioned before, each of these HR solutions has unique positioning, and any one of them could well wind up being an optimal fit for any particular organization. What's key in making the right HR selection decision is to invest the needed time into due diligence. Don't be tempted to put technology ahead of strategy. Compare your prioritized requirements to each solution in an objective manner that can be scored, and avoid the marketing hype. If you can do this, you can do well. Well said. And, and an excellent way for us to end our discussion on the top 10 HRMS solution. Thanks for joining us for this conversation and be sure to tune in next time as we continue our examination of the intersection of HR strategies, processes, and technology.